my topic today for you uh, is going to be about sustainable fashion, which is uh, for me very, very wide topic. Uh, so I'm going to be focused on uh, personalized design. Uh, for me, this is very important. Um, as I was listening uh, to previous panelists, uh, we heard a lot about uh, problems which are appearing uh, nowadays connected to fashion industry and all those uh, all those impacts, negative impacts which it ha which it has on the environment and the social situation of workers, and uh, it has a lot of health impacts. Also, so uh, this topic is very serious. As we all know, we have heard about uh, many problems, depleted soil, polluted waters and air, overfilled landfills, dangerous working conditions of uh, workers who are um, somehow involved in the process of creating clothes or, or producing clothes. We have heard about uh, undervalued wages, lots of toxic substances and processes during the production of clothing and uh, a very bad social situation of the workers and so on and so on. It's, it's really a lot of problems. So that's why what is very important for us, all who are involved in somehow in fashion or in textiles, uh, is I think to somehow try to search for some better solution. And uh, we already know that there are better solution which we can follow and many uh, brands are already applying a lot of new methods and trying to apply a better approach. Uh, but uh, for me, what is very, very important is uh, the fact that uh, every solution possible, what we have already, or what we can use is fine, but uh, we should be mostly thinking, thinking about uh, reducing consumption because uh, replacing one solution with another is nice, but still I think uh, if, if we will be buying as much clothes as we are buying, we will always need to throw them away and we will always need a lot of resources, which somehow uh, I think is not, not sustainable at all. So for me, the topic of reducing consumption is somehow the most important at my work. So uh, when I was thinking about the way how to do that, because I think that would be that would uh, have serious impact, positive impact, if we reduce consumption, because it would reduce produce uh, production of clothes. Uh, I think that the customer has a strong power in his hands. Uh, his decision is very important. If he simply decide not to buy a product, then the companies somehow does not have a reason to produce it anymore. So uh, this is why I was thinking about personalizing of design. Uh, if we are creating clothes, uh, me, myself, I am a teacher and I am a designer. So uh, I am working with my students, trying to share with them my experience and trying to maybe show them a more positive ways how to work with clothes. Because I think as I have, they also have responsibility. Uh, so I am trying to give them as much information as I can about more positive ways. We are, we are talking about a lot of things together. We are talking about the importance of, uh, for example, local production of, of uh, transparent uh, production of, uh, I don't know, maybe return to crafts and so on, which are already known 
ways how to make a fashion better. But also what I think is important is maybe uh, when they understand that bec because they are in the position of a student, they are students. So when they come to our academy, they are somehow just uh, consumers of fashion. They are simple customers. They are buying fashion. They like fashion. They are going to study fashion. And then after they finish the school, they are becoming someone who might possibly in the future produce the clothes. So for them, it's easy to understand what does it mean to be a customer, but also for them it's easy to understand after what does it mean to be a designer and designer somehow is at the beginning of the process and the customer is in the end of the process and there is a very very strong relationship between these two persons even if it might not seem that visible for everybody but they i believe it is because Designer needs a customer who is willing to buy his product and reverse. Uh, customer is searching for a designer, which product he wants to buy, which maybe he, we are all choosing some products which we like, which, which we want to wear, which we want to have at home. So we need the designer. And, uh, and so I believe there is, a, there is a strong relationship between them. And uh, if we want to change something, if we want to uh, change the way how, how we produce the clothes, we also have to change the way how we buy it and, and, and change the way of consumption of clothes. So, so this change is, I think, necessary on, on both sides. Uh, Here, for example, um, I have uh, chosen these pictures because I would like to speak about personalized design. Uh, for me, it's a, it's a very nice chance how to create this, this uh, relationship between a customer and designer stronger. Um, it, we all know the situation like, a, for example, I had some clothes which I had for a very long time and, and I like to wear it a lot. And I am very, very unhappy, for example, if they are destroyed and I have to throw it away because, because I have some memories uh, in these clothes. I, I maybe bought it in some special place or somebody very special gave it to me or I simply like the design and the quality of these clothes. And so I somehow have some, some, some personal experience or a memory or a story in this clothes. So I want to keep them as long as possible, which means that, that uh, the life cycle of this clothes is getting longer. If I simply want to wear it, I don't want to throw it away, then I don't need to go and buy a new one. Uh, that's why I think uh, it's very important somehow to bring back the crafts. Uh, today, a uh, new generation is somehow, uh, somehow not, not able to understand what the craft means. Uh, in the history, that's why I have chosen this picture, uh, many, many women were able to sew, were able to, to make their own clothes, were able to decorate it. We have a very nice, very nice and rich history about uh, folk clothes, uh, um, which I think we have common in countries also around us. And uh, many people, many women, uh, but also men had experience with crafts and they were able to work with hands. And why I'm talking about it, because they were somehow able to understand how much time 
the, the person who is creating clothes has to invest in it. How, how long it lasts, uh, what kind of effort it takes, that it, it is really something what is valuable because it's difficult. It, it needs uh, to be somehow educated in that way to, to somehow have this, this ability to be skilled. So, uh, so that's why I have a feeling the clothes had, had a higher, higher value. And now uh, young people are just buying a fast fashion. They are only choosing according to price and according to some trends which are coming and then leaving. And they have to do it quickly because as we know, some trend might, might last, I don't know, a few weeks, months, and then you buy it and then you don't care anymore because there is another trend you want to catch you because you want to be in. And so the clothes does not have the same value as, as it has once, which, uh, which I think it's maybe, maybe the basic problem because then the expectation when, when young people or when, when uh, nowadays generation is going to shopping, they simply have wrong expectations and they are somehow buying just according to price. So, but I understand it because uh, it's very difficult to, to explain to someone who never, never sue anything before that it takes time. And it's, it's very, very strange that it costs five euro, for example, t-shirt, which is not, the, the price is not real. These are some more examples. Uh, of the handicrafts from our uh, folk uh, clothing from the history. And so uh, for me, the personalized design, uh, this is something where I would like to see the cooperation between the designer and the customer. Uh, uh, I'm not talking about uh, I'm not talking about the way that the customer is going to to a designer studio and and just waiting until the designer make his clothes. I was more thinking about some way uh, between uh, between a fashion which is ready to wear and and between this work in the studio. Uh, I can imagine, uh, like as you see here on the picture, I can imagine, for example, the clothes which are somehow half made or 80% or, uh, of the clothes is made, but then there is always some part of, of this outfit or of this garment, which can be, I don't know, for example, sleeve or, or a collar or, or just some part of it where, uh, where there is a possibility for a customer somehow bring his own ideas in this product. So he can, for example, bring the piece of his own fabric where, where he has some memories. It can be a part of the clothes, for example, of, uh, of his, I don't know, grandmother or of a child or, or something which means something uh, which, which has a meaning for a customer. And and designer is taking this small piece of his of customers' personality, of customers' memories or stories, and is and is somehow in his own way, in designer's way, is, is I don't mean uh, uh, we know there is a there is a common way that we can, for example, customize our T-shirt that we just order a T-shirt and. And we can make a few clicks. There is a simple graphic program when we can, in few layers, make uh, some kind of image. We can put the, the frame. We can choose an image. We can add some text. And then, in in several I don't know days or a week, we are getting a T-shirt with our own design. But this is not what I mean. I I still uh, uh, I'm talking about that there is still uh, eighty percent of the work of the designer, and but or but he is 
closely cooperating with the customer. So for example, as you can see here on the picture, this is exactly the way what I mean, it's kind of inserting a part of customer's clothes, which he does not want to throw away because he wants to keep it, but he's not able to wear it anymore because it's somehow broken or destroyed. It's kind of upcycling or giving a, giving to your clothes. The designer is helping the customer to give to those clothes some other life or, or life after life somehow, but, but in some sophisticated way, not, not just customizing of a t-shirt or, or printing some labels or this usual way as, as we can have now. So, or for example, the jacket where, where the zipper is broken and uh, yeah, it's possible to change the zipper, but there is, there can be also some more original way where, where the clothes is getting another value and, and the designer is making the design, not the customer, the designer is making the design. Here are also another examples. This is the, this way I'm talking about, this is something which is happening in the process of creating clothes. So um, my point of view that there are two ways how to do it. One could be in the process of creating the clothes and the second one can be after. This is, this is in the process. So what is also very positive on this is that when, when the designer is communicating with customer, they must have some uh, relationship. Uh, the customer has to cooperate. It means he has to invest his time. So again, his clothes finally are getting more personal value for him because he invested his time into these clothes. And another thing, he is getting in touch with, with crafts. This is what I was mentioning before, that people now don't understand what it means to make clothes. They don't understand how long it, it takes to make a pattern, how long, how long it takes to sew it, how long it takes to cut it. But if these two people could be cooperating even just a little, even this 20%, that would be, I think, for both of them, both of them very inspiring. And for a customer, he would have a chance to see the process, which he normally does not see. So he might not be expecting after it will cost five euro, because he also had to invest his time and he also was able to see how long it lasts and what does it mean and what it takes. This is another example. Actually, this is from my from my um, collection of clothes. All, all these pictures, what I'm showing you, is uh, coming from my my collection of clothes. Uh, because when I was looking back um, at my work, I somehow uh, also thanks thanks to to this uh, to this uh, event, I somehow understood that there. Is, my clothes are always somehow personal. It's, it's always meant for a concrete person. It's never meant for, uh, for I mean, ready to wear clothing and for everybody or for some uh, targeted group of, of customers. And uh, also in this work, I was also using a lot of uh, old clothes from secondhand shops. I was using old fabrics, which were, uh, meant to be thrown. Uh, for example, the skirt uh, on this outfit is made from, uh, from car seats. Uh, this fabric was uh, previously meant to be or, or designed for a car seat and so on. This is an, 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 another example how you can use all clothes and give them totally new, new form and new shape. Or as you can see here, for example, to use the fabrics uh, which are which are not meant to be for clothing, but still is possible to use them for clothing. 
for sure uh, a nice way how to personalize uh, clothes or design is to use uh, pictures, personal pictures. But again, I, I don't mean this common way of putting the face of your dog or of your own on the t-shirt. Still, I'm talking about the designer's approach. Designer is making the design of the clothes, not the customer, but designer is listening to the customer. And the shape of this dress, for example, it can be always the same, but, but the print on it could be changed according to needs of every new customer. This is the second way I was talking about. Um, uh, when the clothes are made, are finished and uh, can be sold, but they are made in, in the way that the customer is able to wear them as he wants. So there is not just one way of wearing these clothes. Uh, this was a topic what I had uh, also several years ago and the uh, cutting of this, all uh, these dresses or clothes it's just a circle and this circle has different openings which can be used uh, for, for the neck, for the, for the hands, uh, arms, I mean, or for the waist. But you can turn these clothes as, as you want. So uh, the customer uh, somehow uh, is not buying the final product. Is he's buying the product he can work with. Uh, so he can find his own way, which is a bit more creative for him. And also by changing the shape of the clothes, he somehow can wear them longer because he's able to find the new possibilities and then does not need to make shopping every two, three weeks because he can still use this garment in the new way. This is another example of it by rotating of these clothes or twisting. There is many, many different ways how to wear it. Uh, this is from my last collection I was making. <clears throat> Again, it was a sustainable topic. We were, we were using re recycled fabrics. Uh, we were using uh, organic prints and so on. But also uh, here you can see uh, what I was talking about, like the product is 80% uh, 80, 80 made, but there is a part on the product which can be modified according to customers' ideas or, or needs. Or in this case, for example, even the customer himself can participate, can, can take a knife and can make a shape because these uh, scratches what you can see on the slave uh, sleeve they uh, it has a shape uh, but this shape is possible to change so he can he can the customer uh, can have a chance to touch the fabric and there are several uh, several uh, layers under you can see it see it here uh, in the detail so in these layers, you can add whatever fabric you want. So, so it can be the fabric which is coming from the customer. Uh, it can be the fabric coming from, from the family, from, from wherever, and it can be inserted in the clothes. And then the shape which will be formed on this sleeve can be also modified. So if it will be just a scratches or if there will be some symbol or then can, there can even be, I don't know, some letters. This way it can be personalized. And for customer after it can be more interesting and it can, it can become a piece of garment which he does not want to throw because he participated. This is the case I was talking about. Here are some letters. So, so the concept for the clothes is in this way created, uh, created together in a cooperation of, of uh, customer and the designer.
Here you can see uh, the letters on the back, which can be changed. Again, the 80% of the product of 90 can be made. And just that circle on the back can be finished uh, after the consultation of, uh, with the customer. Here is another example of using it. Also, we can talk about prints. Uh, we know that the prints are, are made in layers. And so it can be the same principle that, uh, I don't know if I'm going to make clothes with, I don't know, 10, 10 layers of prints, I will prepare, prepare eight of them. And then I will discuss it with the customer. And the last two layers will be with some motives or with some ideas or with some concept which will bring the customer. So this will slow down the process just a little, not, 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 uh, not that much. So I believe it's possible to, to do it this way. This is another example of placing the print which can be changed and the clothes this way can be customized or personalized. And here we can see it a little bit more closely in the process from design until the final product. Here I wanted to see, uh, uh, here I wanted to show a, a little bit closer the process, which I was talking about. Because the, uh, here on the table, this is uh, the shape of the skirt, which can be done several times. Uh, just, uh, just the print on the top can be changed after. Or a few layers of the print. And this is how it looks in its final form. So maybe uh, in the end of my presentation, uh, I would like to say that uh, as a something as, as a conclusion could be that uh, for me it's important that the change, the positive change that we all need in a uh, fashion industry and in our approach uh, has to come on both sides. Uh, not, not only designer, but also customer. So customer has to get information, designer has to get information, and they should somehow cooperate together and to, to uh, understand each other's needs. And especially for a customer, I think it's important. This, this, uh, this is one of the points of uh, sustainable fashion to, to return somehow to the crafts this is important also because the customers could be one day maybe able to understand uh, to understand what craft mean and how 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 difficult it is and and then they would be maybe willing to pay a little a little bit more for their clothes and if they invest their own time and their own ideas this could make clothes for them more personal. It means more valuable. It means they would like to keep them longer. They don't want to throw them away and they don't need to go quickly buy a new one, which could have serious positive impact. Thank you very much for your attention.